Hello friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And I am so excited because it's finally spooky season time. I just wanted to pop in because I didn't really film an intro for this. Uh, basically, if you're new, Halloween time and spooky season and fall and all of that is my favorite, favorite, favorite time of year. And I try to treasure it as much as I can. I do a bunch of activities and basically every year I try to put it together a little vlog roll, like show my outfits and show what I'm doing and like talk about things. Um, so basically what you're gonna see is a bunch of little sporadic clips of me doing spooky autumnal stuff I'm super excited to show you guys. I'm hoping to do a lot more videos like this this year. Um, if you're interested in last year's video, I'll link my whole playlist below. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so excited. Hi friends! Um, okay, I feel like it's been 3,000 years since I last filmed, but it's basically the beginning of spooky season finally, and the way that I'm like quantifying that is that it's my friend's birthday. They're like my spooky friend that I met a couple years ago, and their birthday party they usually do like kind of like a summer Halloween situation. And it's gonna be so, so much fun. I made them a really cute card. Uh, I used like a napkin um, and then just like wrote their name and like a little happy birthday situation. I think it looks really cute. And then for their present, I got them a candle and like a little statue of a bat. And I hope they'll really like it. And yeah, I'm just gonna go over there. Hopefully just hang out for a couple hours. Shouldn't be anything too intense, but hopefully we'll get to like play some games and I'll get to meet some other like fun alternative spooky people and see everyone's like fun Halloween costumes and get in the whole vibe of everything. This morning I went to go do like a little Halloween decor hunting and Spirit Halloween was open. So it was just like so, so cool. I'll have to like insert some clips and videos and all of that because it was just like so fun to like get into the spirit and I've just been like hunting a little bit for the past while because I think that Halloween decor came out really really early this year it's really really surprising but I've just been so busy with August my cousin came down from the from Italy and I've been making vests like crazy and basically just got a whole ton of stuff going on but I'm happy to finally be like in the spooky season even though it's overwhelming I really want to make like a lot of fun videos again like last year so um hopefully that'll be something to look forward to and before I leave for the party I'll just get Cage to help film my outfit really quick so I can show you guys so uh, be right back uh, so for my outfit I have like this cute little hair scrunchie that's all very like Halloweeny and stuff and then the earrings which are like bones super super cute this choker which I made out of like a bunch of random charms and like a little belt the rosary that I DIY'd I have like a video on my channel about how I make these this is the first Halloween vest and I think it looks really cool even though it's not the perfectest shape. We have improved since, but I think the designs still like really hold up and I like it very much. Um, I just finished the final touches today. And then this is the dress. I think I've shown this as well in a previous video, but I think the all the patches on patches is like a very intense look, but I still think it looks cool. And then I got my little cat purse, which I might extend, but we'll see. And then for footwear, my everyday demonias and some warm socks because it looks like it might rain outside later. Um, and that's the outfit. Spooky season begun. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of Halloween hunting in the time of filming this video. So I basically compiled all my hauls into the next eight minute section. Um, so at the beginning, we're starting with Michael's and kind of like the earlier stuff they had. All the wreath fillers. We had this little skeleton mummy. They had this one theme that was all burnt orange and gold with like all this really vintagey, lovely style. I love these toads. Cage was helping me film this day. So if you see some tattooed hands, that's him. But yeah, it was very like kind of witchy lots of uh, ravens, lots of skulls, lots of Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Really, really beautiful. As usual, Michael's is pricey, so it was more fun for me to just kind of like look and get inspiration than buy a whole ton of stuff, but that old Salem broomstick sign was really calling to me. Overall, tons of super fun stuff. I feel like they've expanded a lot this year and they had a bunch of different sections. Next, there was this kind of like fairy skeleton garden sort of situation, very like enchanted and magical. And I like this one a lot. Uh, lots of nature themed stuff with different skeletons and mushrooms and the bats were absolutely amazing. Really, really nice quality. They had some really awesome candles this year and a lot of fall decor as usual. I remember on this day when Cage and I went to Halloween hunt together, I got to wear my fun Halloween vest and it just felt really exciting to dress up for the season and go get to look at all the spooky things. Um, I saw the Bride of Frankenstein bust, which I actually have one that I got last year that I still haven't repainted, but I love her. Coffin clocks and more kind of mushroomy skeleton 
bat and bird and witchy stuff. This year they have a Frankenstein's monster to go with the bride. Uh, so look out, the monster has found a mate. Very exciting. Here I am just scoping out the situation. They had a lot of like autumn harvesty kind of stuff. Really cute like little squirrel couple. Michael's this year, their main section was kind of this neon Halloween. And I gotta say a lot of it, I think of a lot of other people have said this too, but a lot of it feels like just last year's stuff recolored. And I love the vintage style, don't get me wrong, but I really preferred it without the neon accents. Not super my favorite, but luckily Michaels had a ton of different options to choose from this year. Like they had some non-neon stuff, like this little pumpkin dish was absolutely precious in my opinion, uh, but for the most part, like their main Halloween stuff all had like a little bit of neon sprinkled in. Luckily there was some non-neon stuff and they had a lot of different like kind of themes going this year, so they also had this pastel one, which I thought was absolutely adorable. I'm not really in my like pastel goth uh, phase currently, but it is an aesthetic that I really appreciate and find myself gravitating towards periodically. So like if this had come out last year, I would have been all over it. This year, I can appreciate it from afar, but um, yeah, I thought they did a quite good job and it's really, really cute. The vintage Halloween stuff though always has my heart tons of baking accessories. Then I had like a million trips to HomeSense, so let me walk you through those. They had a lot of this kind of almost country Halloween looking stuff, but then they started getting a little bit of this vintagey stuff, which I was just living for. I think this set is so, so amazing. As usual, tons of spooky towels to look through. I always look for like the really cushy soft ones but the cat one was adorable. They definitely incorporated a lot of like natural materials into stuff this year, like a lot of driftwood and feathers and stuff like that. So that was definitely interesting to see though. It's not super my aesthetic. There were a lot of pieces that stuck out to me, like this really cool potion bottle with all these skulls floating inside and like this awesome green liquid. This mug display was absolutely awesome. A lot of really cute stuff in there, like those little star bowls. This tentacle carafe I thought was really, really neat. And this little set of stacked jack-o'-lantern mugs. Overall, tons of cute see vintage inspired stuff at home sense and winners and tj maxx and all the other sister stores so it was really good to see they also had these like really cute little like fake baked goods which i was really really liking like this little spooky gingerbread house with like the candy corns the little ghosty and the pumpkin and their end caps i feel like when you go at the beginning of the season they do such an amazing job of decorating before it gets all picked over you can see some really really beautiful um stuff that they put together and it just looks really nice now going into the kitchen section they had a lot of cool glasses with like interesting uh things printed on them or like little glass bits or um this one had bats that you can't really see that one has spider webs embossed inside hocus pocus cups and this one was awesome like glowing purple on the inside almost it looked like little glass pumpkin mugs that's so cute i really don't drink out of cups just mugs but i always like to look at them tons of school skull and skeleton stuff this year I'm always looking for more spatulas, but these all came with a cookie cutter, and I definitely don't need more cookie cutters, so I passed on those. They had some adorable mixing bowls, but they're really heavy ceramic, and I like to cook with, like, lightweight kind of stuff, so as beautiful as they were, I did pass on those. And they had some really cute edible decorations, but they all had gelatin in them, so I can't eat them because I'm vegan, so that was very sad, but they're still very cute to see. And they had these little, like, bake dishes that you, like, probably cook something in the oven in, but I have no use for them. They're so adorable, though. I was very, very tempted. And tons of, like, cute cookie jars and soap holders and little bowls. The bowls were really nice this year. I was tempted, but again, these are a little small for me. They had some amazing salt and pepper shakers and that little, like, haunted house butter holder. Unfortunately, I don't think vegan butter holds up really well in those, but I would love it if it did. And some really cute spoon rests. As usual, tons of adorable cupcake decorating stuff. I feel like this would also go really well with, like, scrapbooking kind of projects. And we can never escape the gnomes. You know, there will always be the gnomes during the spooky season invading our every home sense. Uh, but there were also these adorable spooky kind of vintage looking ghosts in this pile and they just looked so soft and happy and I just I don't know it made me very very happy to see those a lot of pumpkin decor a lot of them in like whites and glass and interesting fabrics and stuff as usual lots of garlands and like little stuffed animal kind of decorations the velvet pumpkins are really pretty but I feel like that would be probably fairly easy to DIY and the candle selection is also always amazing. Some really, really cute designs on the outside, some amazing fall scents. The fall scents are always my favorite for candles, so I love just like sitting there and spending an afternoon smelling all the delicious Halloween fragrances. And I'm always on the lookout for a spooky blanket, so I did my best to look through those. I really wanted like a dark one, and a lot of them were like white or light gray, which I just don't trust myself with since I tend to spill things and I don't 
want a white blanket to worry about that kind of thing on uh, but they did have some really really nice designs i was looking for like a really soft one with kind of like a vintagey design and i hadn't found anything yet but as you can see there were tons and tons of options and lots of different aesthetics of course ray dunn is coming through and in the very back this this is the king. I, I was very happy about that. As usual, lots of Halloween pillows. Love the advent ones. And then in the kids section, they had these like trick-or-treat looking baskets and they were kind of in the laundry section. So I don't know if that's what they're for, but I thought they were really, really adorable. And um, yeah, very, very cute to see those. They would make a good picnic basket now that I'm looking at them. Hmm. They had some really nice kind of cleaning cloths that were spooky this year. So these like Swedish towels or... Swedish dishcloths with like Ouija print and lots of like little reusable towels with like spooky prints and skulls and ghosties and bats and stuff on them so those were cool to see. I also did a tiny stop at Spirit Halloween but I will have like a proper spirit trip with Cage in my next vlog uh, because we still haven't gone together and it's our holiday tradition to go and trigger the animatronics uh, but for now I just want to scope out the t-shirts and the earring selection and all the stuff before it got super picked over and they have a lot of amazing stuff but I managed to restrain myself quite a bit and didn't go absolutely wild this year at Spirit. Hi again! Okay, so um, Cage and I are gonna go see the Barbie movie and I'm like really excited because we never go to like movies together. We obviously like watch movies all the time but just like at our house and we're gonna go do like the VIP thing which is like super fancy and I'm like crazy excited because like we've never done it and it seems like super fun. There's like vegan burger options and like really interesting cocktail drinks that I'm just like excited to try so it's gonna be super cute and I got dressed up super fun in pink so I'm just gonna like go over my outfit real quick um so I have these like little hair bows that I made uh they're like little felt bat wings and they like still have the hearts in them from like Valloween this is like mostly a Valloween outfit I think I've like shown something very similar in the past uh this is my little bat cape with added bat ears and a hood which is like very exciting. Um, and yeah, this is the back. And it's like all very like fun and cozy. Um, and I'm hoping to get just get all like snuggled up and be all like fun and cute in the theater with Cage. Um, and then I have this like thrifted shirt and this like pink rosary that I made and this choker that I got ages ago just online. And oh fuck, I forgot my belt, hold on. Okay, belt acquired the batman belt as my mom freaking called it last time she saw it but i think it's super super cool and it's a creepsville belt so it like opens like that and i just think it's like very very fun and then this skirt i made from joanna parker fabric um and it's like a valloween kind of situation and i got my purse that's shaped like a coffin um that i got at spirit halloween last year and i put a little bat charm on it that I got at like a dungeon situation in Amsterdam, which was super fun. And then these pink tights, I think I got for like a Draculaura lookbook. And then these boots are secondhand. I just got them on Facebook Marketplace, but they're like knockoff demonias and the zipper like totally opens in the back. So I might put a belt or a ribbon or something around it, but we'll see. That's the Barbie look and I'm really excited. I'm like, maybe I'll take like a couple little like videos and clips to like show you guys uh, what, what the whole situation is. Um, and I'm really excited. I think it'll be a fun time. So. Uh, Catch you guys soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey friends! Um, okay, so it is August 27th today and I just wanted to do like a little update of what I've been up to. I've had like a super super busy month. My cousin came down from Italy and we've been hanging out. That's been like super super fun. I've been like seeing all the stuff in my city from like kind of like a tourist perspective so that's been like really really exciting just to get her to like show her all different stuff and I just wanted to kind of like give a little update and pop in and let you know about everything that I've done and um, how it all went. Uh, so I think last time we spoke I had just gone to watch the Barbie movie with Cage and it was so freaking fun. Um, like I said, we went to the big like fancy movie seats um, and we like got vegan burgers and popcorn and I even got like a uh, sangria with like apple and like all this like exciting delicious stuff in it. And the movie was really really fun. Cage and I both enjoyed it. Um, I feel like I've heard like super extreme opinions about it like it's like this feminist masterpiece and like so amazing and revolutionary and I don't think it's quite that like you know like kind of surface level stuff but like still fun and then I've also heard that it's like this man hating like horrible thing and it's like definitely not that either like I, I just thought it was like a fun movie with like good actors and like a cute set and like thumbs up for me like I thought it was really really cool and as a doll lover it was really special to like see some of the like little inside jokes and stuff but I didn't um yeah I don't have any like wild opinions about it being like wow 
the revolution is here because but like no but um it was a really really cute fun time cage and i had like an awful time getting back though because we had like ubered there so we took a scooter back and basically got super super lost we were on this electric scooter like on the highway um it was supposed to be i think like a 20 maybe 25 minute ride back home and we ended up being out for an hour on that thing it started raining at one point and we were just like on the scooter in the grass just being like i don't know where we are and like our google maps aren't working and the phones are like dying but like let's so that was a super fun time, uh, basically like a little nighttime adventure and uh, it was it was just like a really cool little fun little date night. The next thing is that I've been watching a ton of people do like Halloween planners. My favorite channel right now is Halloween Happy. Sam, they do amazing freaking just like awesome awesome planner layouts and really cute Halloween decorations and they just like have an amazing personality and I've just like been watching them like crazy and being like super inspired by them. So for this year, since last year my like Halloween wish list looked like just a piece of paper with like my handwritten notes on it. This year I did like a super fancy one inspired by Halloween Happy and like all the planner people. So I wanted to show you guys that. I'll insert like a little clip of me like making it probably after, but I just like filmed one of them to show like kind of an example, but I'd highly recommend just watching like one of the channels that I mentioned below in the description for this kind of content because it's just like so fun and so satisfying to watch and I had such a good time making it. I made my wish list on a cute piece of paper and I originally thought it would all fit on one piece, but it ended up not because I have so many wishes and dreams for this season and a lot of them are like kind of things that take two seconds to do but I still want to write down like drink a spooky fall drink or like light a candle but I still need to write them down so um yes this is like the wish list of kind of like activities and stuff my favorite piece on this is this little cat it was from a napkin that I got in Edmonton at Mars and Venus and I love it and I just like put it on a little piece of paper so it was like kind of thicker and I think it looks really really cute. I love the vintage cat design. I also really like this stamp set that I got at Michael's. I was super inspired to get it after watching Kayla from Alt Knots, which is another person who inspired my Halloween planner because actually yeah now that I think of it first video that I watched about like a spooky planner and then that's what started me on the rabbit hole of exploring more and then got me into this hole thing that is now one thing for me. I don't think I'll do this for like every month, but for the spooky season, I just found it so exciting and satisfying. Though I am really impressed by the people that do like weekly planners and just like all their agenda looks so pretty. Mine always looks like a mess, but I, I love you guys that do the cool thing. It's, it's amazing. And then this is the other part of my wish list, but it's food and crafts. And again, super, super cute. Um, some of the exciting things that I used on this is like this 3D sticker from the dollar store, another like toothpick. Um, this is just like a little design that was on a Halloween pad of paper that I didn't like a lot of the stuff on the pad, like on that specific page, but I liked some of the stuff like the sparkle. So I like cut those out. This is a rookie mag collage piece of just like some roses, but I like it because it looks really 3D and flat. And just like, I like that interplay. This is another piece of that Halloween napkin that I got at Mars and Venus. Michael's stamps for the spider web and the cauldron. I think the cauldron was fitting to put for food. And then I just use like little stamps and nail stickers to decorate the, the centerpieces. And I think it looks really, really cute. I'm very, very pleased with this, with this new craft of mine. And I hope that every year I get to make like a cute little like spooky wish list and I can tuck it away and like look back at it and be like, oh, I remember when I made potato carrot soup. Weird thing to pick out of this list, but sure, why not? Um, Ta-da! Okay, so that is the planner pages that I've made. I'll like insert the clip of me making them, um, just like a little sped up version um, at the end of this if you're interested. And um, I'll have timestamps if you want to skip it. But that was a, a fun part of the season. So that was the last couple days that I did that. And then last night, oh, so freaking cool. My mom, because my cousin was coming to stay with us, she got us uh, tickets to Cirque du Soleil um, with, you know, my dad and Cage and it was freaking amazing. Like, absolutely lost my mind. The show we went to see was called, oh my gosh, it was this one? Kuza? It was so freaking cool. There was one part that they had like a bunch of skeleton dancers and like these like skeleton burlesque ladies that had like these tall like head pieces that went like they had like the whole burlesque outfit with like the usual like big ostrich feathers and the boas and the, the uh, beautiful bodysuits and all that but then they had these like black things on their head with like a skeleton head on top so like it kind of just looked like this like wildly tall person with like a skeleton body but then like a, a fancy like super tall neck and like everything that was wild um there were like tightrope acts that made me like lose my mind there was like flips with pogo sticks and uh d d uh, stilts and just like the wildest stuff. There was like a unicycle person that like 
was holding a lady with like one hand and then the lady was like holding just one hand on his head and like oh my god everything was absolutely wild um i didn't know that like going to the circus would be like on the list and this wasn't like the this was like fancy freaking circus like circus like it was wild um so freaking lucky that i got to go um just had like an absolutely amazing time um so yeah that was last night with uh, cage and cousin and the others and it was just like so freaking amazing just absolutely loved it and there was like a hula hoop lady that I got to see and it like made me be like oh my god like I miss hula hooping because um I, I haven't done it like this summer like pretty much at all uh but it's so fun and I need to get back into it because it's like literally uh it's delightful okay so that was last night so just like whoo blew my mind amazing and then today hi I'm dressed up nice I'm going to a wedding oh my god you guys I have never been to a wedding in my life I'm 25 years old and this is my first wedding ha how exciting so for the look I hope this is, I've like I don't I've never been to a wedding so I hope this is wedding appropriate most of my dresses are like super low cut or short or have like corsety bits or like just kind of look like a nightclub dress so I was like I can't wear any of those but I have this gorgeous red dress that's made of lace and a subscriber sent it to me um you're so sweet I love it and it's like perfect for this occasion I think I hope I don't know I'll see how other people are dressed so we'll like find out but Cage is gonna be uh, a best man a groomsman uh one of the people that stands up front when the ceremony is happening so that's gonna be like a whole a whole thing that's very exciting uh, but yeah I just wanted to like run down my outfit and show you guys scrunchie got a red scrunchie with little hearts in it makeup I'm doing red eye makeup because normally I do like all black and I feel like that might be like a little severe for a wedding same with the lipstick normally all black might be severe for a wedding so I was like mm. same with the color of the dress I think they're doing like a really earthy theme like they don't have like wedding colors necessarily but everything's very like earth toned browns and greens and burnt oranges and yellows and you know that kind of thing so I feel like a maroon will like fit in okay and like not be super clashy these earrings are I think from AliExpress if I remember correctly but they have like two little hearts and then this little like bird skull for perfume I didn't put on too much because I don't want to like disturb anyone um but I'm using this which technically is not actually Elvira's black roses I just printed out a picture of Elvira's black roses and stuck it on this bottle but I think it's pretty much the same it's basically the company Demeter that makes the like Elvira perfumes they only release them during Halloween but all year round they release this set called I think it's like dark flowers or like vampiric flowers or something and all of the notes are the same in all of them corresponding to one in the Elvira collection so I was like I bet if I just bought the dark blooms or dark flowers or whatever printed out some paper and then taped on the Elvira labels I would pretty much have the same thing so it like is but it isn't the Elvira Black Roses perfume but I love it especially when I mix it um with like some old patchouli oil I have this I've had it like for way 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 too long but it's just patchouli essential oil and it still smells fine so I just did like a teeny dab of dab of that and I put it with the Black Roses and it's one of my favorite combinations because it just conjures in my mind like this image of like a graveyard on like a very cold like foggy morning with like the fog rolling in and there's like a weeping angel statue like over the grave and there's like roses and like you're smelling like the mosses and like all the like morning like kind of earthy smells but also like the cold hard stone and the roses like on the oh and like that's kind of what like it gives me the vibe of so I felt like with the romantic like red looks and like this kind of thing it would be like a fitting thing so that is the look so far um then this necklace is just like a silver bat choker that i got from aliexpress or wish or like one of those things ages and ages ago and it broke like pretty soon after i got it like the clasp did so i just attached it to a ribbon and i feel like the ribbon looks like kind of elegant enough that it's kind of in place and then i just did one necklace it's just like a little crescent moon the people that are getting married they're like very alternative and they like have a bunch of tattoos and like like I don't think they would care if I dressed up like wild but I just I don't want to like stick out because I know it's a big wedding and I don't want to like I don't know if their family's real we'll see we'll see <laughs> anyway moving down the outfit this dress like I mentioned is from an amazing subscriber it's like this dark red lace dress with these lovely like little sleeves and it has two layers of lace at the bottom so it gives like an extra little bit of like movement and flair um, and I couldn't find like a subtle enough belt that I wanted to wear so I put like a black corset and I think it just kind of like cinches it together and makes it look 
extra fancy. Um, I'm wearing two little bracelets that I both got from the thrift store when I was like 16 or younger. Um, this one has stars on it and this one has zodiac signs on it and they're just like really simple and subtle. Then I have my Book of Spells purse that I got at Spirit Halloween. I'm debating this or my coffin purse, but my coffin purse is smaller. I feel like this goes with the outfit better, but regardless, dress, purse, jewelry, and then for shoes, can you believe it? I finally got new docs. Mine were falling apart. I got them, I think, before I went to university. I was 18 then, and I'm 25 now, and they were just completely wrecked. Um, so look at me. New docs, they're mostly broken in, and I'm gonna try to wear them to the wedding tonight. So, wish me luck. Um, I think it's gonna be a really, really fun time. I hope. The couple that's getting married is really, really sweet, and pretty much every day since they've, like, had the wedding planned, the groom, he's been posting on his Instagram, like, the countdown to the wedding with, like, a different picture every day, and it's just been really, really cute. So I'm excited um, to be there to celebrate their love. Um, I went camping with them recently, and it was just, like, super, super fun. They're amazingly sweet, and it's just gonna be a really cute, fun time. So that's at 4 p.m. I have a little bit of time to kill till then, um, but... Wish me luck, and I'll see you in the next clip, whether that's the wedding or something else. See you soon, and um, bye for now. Okay, see ya. So here I'm getting ready to decorate my calendar and like wish list for the year. So I just printed this blank template online, got my spooky candle going and a cup of tea. I'm just starting by numbering out all the days. And I got this paper pad from Michaels that has all these different like spooky patterns on it and it's super, super adorable. There's so many to choose from, but I decided to just go with my first instinct, which was the front one. I'm taking just a regular glue stick and gluing up the side of the paper and lining it up. So so it's like flat against the line of the calendar and I'm just using some scissors to cut it along the back. This was before I f remembered that my boyfriend has a paper cutter and I started using that but it is it works it's fine it's easier for me anyway and really that's just the process that I'm gonna do for the whole thing pretty much it's just gluing little squares down um, taking different pieces of pattern paper like this one with spooky haunted houses or this like harlequin thing that I got from the dollar store or this bigger kind of like shiny orange and black one that was also from the dollar store I'm just taking pieces of them gluing them down and then cutting off the excess so just that little strip is left and um it was really fun it's honestly super super relaxing and it was exciting for me to just like play with all the different like colors and look at the shiny textures and uh overall very fun tactile crafting experience then i'm using this spooky stamp set from michael's um to add like a little spooky cat in one corner and then like a spider web in the other corner and a tiny gravestone at the bottom and then i'm testing out markers so i'm figuring out what i want to write out the month with and a black marker went out so i'm using that to write out september and continuing to line up little pieces of shiny paper i'm using some random stuff like this ghost cupcake pick that i found at the dollar store last year this little pumpkin is like a cupcake pick so it's kind of thick i feel like i should use hot glue i'm using this little cat sticker that i got at Walmart. I'm coloring in the bottom with some orange marker and then using these little candy corn stickers from the dollar store to make a border. And then I'm flipping through this pad of dollar store Halloween paper for a nice shade of orange and I find this one that I like and then I'm just taking those stamps from Michaels and stamping little sections of it so I can cut those out and have like almost a little sticker of the designs. So I have this orange one of the cauldron and then this other one of a skull, adding some more patterns to the page and this little spooky cat that I really like the design of. I'm just putting it on the middle so it kind of like sticks up a little bit. And I just wanted to show one because it's pretty self-explanatory, but these are how all of them turned out. I think they look really, really cute, especially all together. So it's time to put them up. I'm taking all of the old stuff off my fridge. Um, I'm saving it to put back up later but I'll probably decorate it more nicely because when I ended up putting these up I was like wow my fridge looks nice when I put effort into it um so wiping down all the sticky tape and buildup of residue um underneath those little posters and putting up the new ones I'm putting the calendar ones on the left side and then the kind of wish list and food slash craft ideas on the other side and they look so sweet I honestly it's so inspiring for me to get up in the morning and like see those all together I've been like highlighting the days as I go through them and highlighting things that I do as I get it done And it's just been a really fun time. I'm excited to do this in the coming years as well. Hello friends. It is August 28th 
today and according to my little Halloween calendar that I made that means it's time to sort out my Halloween closet. Uh, so basically though a lot of my regular like everyday clothes could be classified as spooky I guess you could say there's some like very specific like orange and black pieces that I really don't wear throughout the year except during Halloween and I like store them up top so today is the day that I get to like take them all down and make space for them in my closet because the next two months it's their time to shine. Plus I have like some new additions that I've made this year to add to the closet so I'm super super excited um, to have a whole updated new and improved Halloween wardrobe. So without further ado let's get it started. I just will like pull out everything down and show you guys what's what. So let's get going. Okay so I'm just gonna go grab my stuff really quick and then we can sit down and organize and look at it together. Plus these. Alrighty, so let's start with my first and probably oldest piece in my Halloween wardrobe. Like, I've had it the longest. I don't know that it's necessarily the oldest, actually. This is a cardigan that I found at the thrift store probably like eight years ago now, maybe even ten, because I remember wearing this in high school. And it was knitted by hand. It's by Northern Isles and it's like a size large. The design is absolutely beautiful. The like rolling hills and the orange trees and the falling leaves. This just makes me feel like autumn is here. It's coming. It's not super soft but it's very heavy so when you wear it you just like feel like you're having a hug. Putting this on and lighting a fall candle and having like a spooky drink in my hand it's like that's when I know the season is started. It feels so like cool and vintage so go ahead and hang that up. Next I have this super fun and exciting exciting piece. I had this orange sweater that I found at the thrift store last year that had this very cool like pattern all around it but it wasn't really my style and I thought how fun would it be to have like an orange and black sweater with just like the most obnoxious poofy black faux fur. So I put that like at the bottom, on the hood, on the sleeves, and it looks a lot to me like the specific Halloween Barbie um, that I didn't have as a kid or anything, but when I saw her I was just like, oh, that's that's this. I'm very, very excited to again wear my like ridiculously comfy and cozy and obnoxiously fuzzy sweater. I also, oh I forgot, I added like little spiderweb fabric to like the trim of them uh, to cover up more of the pattern. And um, yeah, it's got kind of like a a gnome hood like when you wear it it's like a little bit pointy so I'm definitely excited to incorporate this into some lookbooks. Next this is super fun I made this probably two years ago now and it is a shirt made out of old Halloween socks not like the foot part of the socks but just like the part that you would wear around your ankle and I found like a tutorial on YouTube that I'll link below if you're interested in making this kind of thing yourself but yeah basically I just had loads and loads of Halloween socks a lot of them were from the dollar store and were like kind of for kids so they were a little tight and uncomfortable so I never really wore them and this was like the perfect excuse to use them up so I'd like to make a project like this again but as like tights or thigh highs or something like that or like maybe leg warmers so I'm gonna be looking out for more more like dollar store Halloween socks this year to do this kind of thing because I really like the patchwork idea of it and then it ended up being like a great way to use up my old socks so that's a cool and fun sweater it's super or shirt it's really really warm is the one thing and like kind of messily stitched together but I think it's like fun and adds to the charm then this one I love this sweater so much I'm pretty sure I got it last year it's like a neon orange and it's absolutely delightful when I first got it it just had the cat pattern and I got it on Etsy on a page that I can no longer find but you can find a lot of people that will print this design on a sweatshirt. What made me really sad last season was that I spilled like candle wax on it or hot chocolate or coffee or like something like right after getting it um, all up here so that's why I decided to cover it in patches but I still think that that looks super super cute and like some of the patches like this one even glow in the dark and I might even add more patches this year but for now it's just like this adorable like cute vintage kitten on a pumpkin sweater and I can't wait to wear it out this year again. Ah! This one I forgot about because um, I've never really worn it before. But this was when one of my coworkers was getting rid of a bunch of clothes. She brought them to work to see if anyone wanted some before she brought them to the thrift store. And this was one of the things that I picked out. It's like this very cool skin tight dress with like cold shoulders. And I think she bleach dyed it uh, but with like the orange and black it feels kind of Halloweeny to me so I feel like I could incorporate this into some sort of like Halloween outfit so 
be on the lookout for that. I feel like it'll be a lot of fun. This dress I absolutely adore. Um, it's unfortunately a kid's dress, so it's ridiculously short and I totally have to wear like bloomers or shorts or something with it, but it's still super, super cute. It's like this kind of situation and it's originally from a uh, children's place. My favorite thing about it is that all the white parts or at least the ghosts and the bats and the moons, I'm not sure about the candy coins, but uh, most of the white parts on this glow in the dark, which is just like the cutest thing ever. And I love to wear this with like my little handmade collars. I sewed a bunch of these last year and a lot of them with Halloween fabric. So like this purple one with like witch hats and cats. It's just like a little detachable collar that you like put like this. And I think it looks absolutely precious with this because like the purple kind of matches the purple of the witch hats. But this is just a really, really fun piece that I never get to wear except for around Halloween. So I'm excited to pull it out. Yeah, super, super cute. Next, this was another really, really exciting find from last year. I found it at the thrift store and it's like this long, orange and black dress that I considered cutting short because I usually don't wear long dresses but I've quite enjoyed when I have worn this like as a long dress um, it makes me feel very elegant and it's got this like cool ribbing um, all throughout it so the texture is really nice it's super soft and this burnt orange is one of my favorite colors as well as Cage's. Cage's Cage always loves like burnt orange like deep yellows like those kind of things and yeah this there's something about this that makes me feel like a pumpkin like a Halloween jester um, I love to wear this with a corset because the way the waistline is cut and Part of waistlines always make me feel a little bit pregnant looking so just like adding the corset like helps break that illusion up a little bit and yeah I love the long stripies I love how comfy it is I'm excited to pull it out and wear it especially when the weather gets cold it's still been like 30 degrees lately I don't know what that is in American degrees Fahrenheit whatever but I'm excited for it to cool down and get rainy and get foggy and get misty and if for it to finally just feel fall e. I've been <laughs> honestly feeling like quite overwhelmed with this season because I feel like so much Halloween merch and decor and all this stuff came out so much earlier than in the previous years and so many people were like posting content like in June and July and August and I was like oh my gosh like I feel already so far behind even though when I filmed this right now it's like August 28th like it's the end of August but I already feel like mega behind and I'm just like so busy coming up in the next few months and I'm just like wow like I feel like Halloween is passing me by but I just need to like slow down Remember that this holiday for me is about fun and celebration and all the beautiful things that I get to do with Cage and with the cats and um, with myself and all the fun adventures that um, are going to happen. So I need to relax and remember those things and just take it one step at a time because there's no use rushing through the season being like, oh my god, other people are doing more than me because that's not what it's about. It's about having your type of fun. So I need to take my own advice. This is the dress. Let me go put it up. <laughs> This is a spirit Halloween dress next, and I gotta say, I love the design of it, but I'm super sad because I feel like I washed it, like, maybe once or twice, and it's already looking all pilly all over, and I know that you could theoretically, like, use a razor to take that off, but then I'm worried about, like, ruining the dress, and, like, oh, it's just very stressful, and I feel like I don't wear this dress as much as I want to because I'm scared of having to wash it and then having to, like, it's just this whole thing. But regardless, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's this very cute purple bat collar dress with little purple cap sleeves, and it's very, like, nice and tight at the top and flares a little bit at the bottom. It's got, like, kind of a 50s or 60s vibe to me. Um, it just feels, like, super cute and, like, almost like a school teacher sort of dress. The pattern is obviously my favorite part about it. It's got ghosties, spiderwebs, jack-o'-lanterns, brooms, switch hats, cauldrons, bats, everything that is required for a spooky scene setting, and it just feels, like, really flattering, relatively comfy. I love the collar. Yeah, this I got last year and I love it. I just wish it wasn't like pilling and looking like this after like one wash. Like I swear to God, after I washed it once, it already looked like that. So no fun on that train. Advice is welcome. This is another dress that I got from Spirit Halloween. For a while I was buying for two years, I bought one every year in a row. I was thinking of doing that again this year, but nothing was really catching my eye. They had this really pretty like witchy Bordeaux dress with like this corset lace up and it kind of reminded me of this, but it wasn't dark red and I would have gotten it if it was in black maybe, but um, for now, whatever. This is one of the dresses that I got from Spirit two years ago. I love it. It's super cute. It has a hood. It's like black velvet. It's got like a lace up going all the way down. It's got this really gorgeous lace at the bottom and the best part about it is like it has these moons and stars like really delicately embossed into the velvet. So it just feels very witchy, very gorgeous. When I put it on with like a corset or 
with a petticoat underneath. I feel like an absolute princess of the night. Like, it's just super fun and quite witchy. Oh yeah, there's like kind of a cutout in the sleeve. I don't know how I feel about this part necessarily. I feel like the solid sleeve would have been just as well, but the sleeve is wonderful and like a big bell sleeve. I love this kind of thing. So that is super, super exciting. And I'm looking forward to wear this one again. I know I wore this last year to the sunflower field, I think. But I'm excited to wear it in October and stuff. Next, oh, this is super fun. Okay, this I made last year. I had like a whole phase, like probably a week long, that I was just enamored with making little circular capelets. And this one is super, super fun and Halloween-y. It's got this like witch flying on a broomstick pattern that's like mesh. So it's like super fun, I can wear it like, and you won't really obscure the dress underneath, which is like very exciting. And then for the trim, I had all these bits and pieces of spiderweb mesh left over from random projects that I'd been doing. And I didn't know what to use them for. And then I figured I could use a bunch of the tiny pieces to make like a really jagged, lovely border. So I'm really excited to incorporate this into some Halloween outfits. I think it's like perfect for the season. I'm almost considering adding a hood right now. I feel like that would really amp it up, but I like this a lot and I think it's like very appropriate for the spooky season with like the witches and the mesh. Ooh. I have a couple of different spooky capelets that I think will work very well for the spooky season. Like I have some shaped like bat wings, some with like moons and cats on them, some that are just like super fuzzy with like little bat embroideries on the side and the bat ears on the head and all sorts of stuff. Um, if you're interested in the capelets, I have a video about that on my channel and how I made them. Then this is so sweet. I got this last year. It's just a super basic Halloween uh, jack-o'-lantern face t-shirt. The best part about it that I didn't know until like the end of the season last year, I think, is that the jack-o'-lantern part actually glows in the dark. I think I was getting up to pee or something and walking to the bathroom, I like looked down and I was like, am I like kind of glowing? And it was totally my shirt. It was very, very exciting. Um, so yes, very delighted to be able to wear this out again to show my glow-in-the-dark fashion to the world. I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Like, I'm 25 and I still have not gotten over the craze of glow-in-the-dark. still excites me every time, so very looking forward to this one in the collection. This was a creation that I think I made in, like, June or July, but very, very exciting. I got a big men's t-shirt from the thrift store, cut it off at the bottom here, and then combined a bunch of my Halloween scrap fabrics to make, like, a skirt for it. So, oh, and then I added, like, a little jack-o'-lantern face to the front. Um, so it's basically just, like, this big ol' t-shirt dress made of all repurposed Halloween materials and I absolutely adore it. It's like perfect for when it's hot out because it's not too heavy or anything like that. That's like the one downside is it's hard to wear for fall but for days like tomorrow for instance where I'm going to the sunflower patch but it's going to be like 30 degrees this will be great because it's like still nice and like easy breezy airy since it's just like cotton and like a t-shirt essentially up top. So this is a very delightful thing and I feel like with multiple layers underneath I could even wear it um, when the weather gets cold. So looking forward to this one. Oh I figured I'd include this. This one's just like a fun little thing. Um, I made a bat wing shaped detachable collar from these Halloween scrubs that I found at the thrift store. So it's just like kind of a, it, it almost looks more like a jester collar but that's okay. I think it's cute. And then I also made it reversible so it's got bunnies on the other side. It's almost like Easter and Halloween. <laughs> And then I made it like tie up with a big bow so you can have like a cute big satin bow at the top or at the front if you want. Spooky Halloween detachable collars that I will be sure to incorporate in this year's wardrobe. And then I don't know if this video will be out yet, hopefully by the time that this is out, but I have my new spooky vests to put up. So yes, um, I will have a video fully about this either up or coming soon uh, when, when you see this video. But I DIY'd all of these. This is the latest one and I have a matchy one with my boyfriend of this kind of one. I adore it. It's very, very fun. A lot of these patches are handmade, like these ones are handmade, these ones are not, and everything's like hand-stitched on there. I added lots of sequins and glitter and exciting things like that. This was the first one I made. It's a little rough, um, but I still think it's absolutely cute and has its own sort of handmade charm. And then this one is the one that I think looks most professional, quote-unquote. Um, like it's the cleanest looking and stuff and it was the second one I made, so very exciting. And then I also have a video about this on my channel, but my Halloween jacket from last year. Oh my god, I haven't worn it since last spooky season, uh, which is wild because it's still very exciting and delightful and has a lot of my favorite bands, regardless of whether it's Halloween or not. Uh, but just because of the overwhelming orange, um, I tend to not wear it other times of the year. Regardless, I'm so excited to get this bad boy out again. There's a couple of repairs I need to do on him though. Um, he's missing 
quite a few of his candy corn spikes since we last spoke about him. Um, I need to add some washers to prevent them from falling out. And I think I need to remake one, at least one of his bottle cap pins. But if you're interested in this guy and how I made him and all the process of that, I do have a video about it. So feel free to take a peek at that. Uh, with that, let's look at the fully set up Halloween closet and um, then I'll let you go. So here we have everything hanging in its Halloween glory. It's a little bit crowded. I usually don't keep my jacket up there, but I got all my vests at the front, then my orange sweaters and other orange pieces of clothing, then other sweaters, got my dresses, Halloween dresses hanging up. My jacket's there though I will probably move eventually. Uh, Halloween shirt, Halloween shirt. All the Halloween socks that never leave but make me very happy. A bunch of my little Halloween collars. And um, that's that. Um, maybe full closet tour coming eventually, but for now, little sneak peek and full peek of the Halloween section specifically. All right, see you guys in the next clip. All right, so that is all I have for today. I hope to have another uh, vlog and similar spooky content out for y'all soon. So uh, please be on the lookout for that if you're interested. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day or night or whenever it happens to be and uh, give yourself a big hug from me and I'll catch you in the next one, I hope. Bye for now. Bye.